Question one, a capacitor with a capacitance of 5 of is connected in series with a resistor of 10 koto 12V battery. After a long time, what will be the voltage across the capacitor? A, 0V. B, 4V. C, 6V. D, 12V. Correct answer, D, 12V. Explanation, after a long time, a capacitor in a series RC circuit will be fully charged and the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to the voltage of the battery. This is because the capacitor behaves like an open circuit in the steady state, so the entire voltage of the battery appears across the capacitor. Therefore, the voltage across the capacitor is 12V. Question 2. Which of the following statements about the second law of thermodynamics is true? A. The total entropy of an isolated system always decreases over time. B. Heat cannot spontaneously flow from a colder object to a hotter object. C. The efficiency of any heat engine is 100% due to energy conservation. D. The entropy of a system decreases when it undergoes an irreversible process. Correct answer. B. Heat cannot spontaneously flow from a colder object to a hotter object. Explanation. The second law of thermodynamics states that in an isolated system, the total entropy or disorder tends to increase over time and it is impossible for heat to spontaneously flow from a colder body to a hotter body. This principle is the basis for the operation of refrigerators and heat pumps which require external work to transfer heat against its natural direction of flow. Question 3. A ball is thrown vertically upward with an initial velocity of 30 meters. What is the maximum height it reaches? A SU equals 9.8 meters. A 45.9 meters. B. 61.2 meters. C. 76.5 meters. D. 91.8 meters. Correct answer. B. 61.2 meters. Explanation. To find the maximum height, use the kinematic equation for vertical manually. To get the maximum height, the final velocity v is 0 meters so. 0, 30 meters to. 2x 9.8 meters x h h. 30 meters. 2a, 2x 9.8 meters, equals 45.9 meters, so the maximum height reached by the ball is approximately 61.2 meters. Question 4. In a series LCR circuit, the inductance is 50 mh, capacitance is 20 F, and resistance is 10 O. If the circuit is driven by an AC source of 50 HC, what will be the impedance of the circuit? A, 12.3 O. B, 10 O. C, 15.5 D, 18.70. Correct answer, A, 12.30. Explanation. Impedance is E in. A series LCR circuit is given by the formula. Question 5. A sample of gas undergoes an isothermal expansion at 300 K and the volume doubles. If the initial pressure of the gas was 2 atm, what is the final pressure of the gas? A, 2 atm. B, 1 atm. C, 4 atm. D, 0 0.5 ATM. Correct answer. B, 1 ATM. Explanation. Uh, according to Bohl's Law for an isothermal process. Question 6. What happens to the kinetic energy of a system if its velocity is doubled? A, the kinetic energy remains the same. B, the kinetic energy is doubled. C, the kinetic energy is quadrupled. D, the kinetic energy is halved. Correct answer. C, the kinetic energy is quadrupled. Explanation, the kinetic energy K of a body is given by the equation. Question 7. Mr. Ahmed is driving a car around a circular track with a radius of 100 meters at a constant speed of 20 meters. What is the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration acting on the car? A. 2 meters. B. 4 meters. C. 3 meters. D. 5 meters. Correct answer. B. 4 meters. Explanation. The centripetal acceleration AC for an object moving in. A circular path is given by. Question 8. Which of the following factors does NOT affect the rate of a chemical reaction? A. Temperature. B. Pressure. C. Concentration of reactants. D. Color of reactants. Correct answer. D. Color of reactants. Explanation. 
the rate of a chemical reaction is influenced by factors such as temperature pressure especially in gaseous reactions and the concentration of reactants which can increase the frequency of collisions between molecules the color of reactants is not a factor that affects the rate of reaction question nine a satellite is orbiting earth at a height where its orbital velocity is seven point eight kilometers what type of energy does it primarily possess the kinetic energy b potential energy c thermal energy d elastic energy correct answer a kinetic energy explanation a satellite in orbit around earth primarily possesses kinetic energy due to its motion the orbital velocity ensures that the satellite remains in orbit and this motion is described by the satellite's kinetic energy given by question 10 an ideal gas is compressed adiabatically, which of the following must increase a temperature b volume c pressure d both temperature and pressure correct answer d both temperature and pressure explanation in an adiabatic process no heat is exchanged with the surroundings as the gas is compressed work is done on the gas which increases its internal energy this results in an increase in both temperature and pressure. The relationship between temperature, pressure, and volume in an adiabatic process is governed by the adiabatic law. Question 11. What is the efficiency of a Carnot engine operating between a hot reservoir at 600 K and a cold reservoir at 300 K? A. 0 0.25 B. 0 0.5 C. 0 0.75 D. 1 Correct answer b 0 0.5 explanation the efficiency of a carnot engine is given by the formula question 12 a wave has a frequency of 200 hc and a wavelength of 2 meters uh what is the speed of the wave a 400 meters b 200 meters c 600 meters d 100 meters correct answer a 400 meters explanation the speed of a wave is given by the equation question 13 which of the following types of electromagnetic radiation has the highest energy a radio waves b microwaves c ultraviolet rays d gamma rays correct answer d gamma rays explanation energy in electromagnetic waves is directly proportional to the frequency Gamma rays have the highest frequency among the options provided and therefore have the highest energy according to the equation. Eki. Question 14. In a thermodynamic process, 300 J of heat is added to a system and the system does 150 J of work. What is the change in the internal energy of the system? A. 450 J. B. 150 J. C. 300 J. D. 100 J. Correct answer, B, 150J. Explanation, according to the first law of thermodynamics, DW, da 300, 150, 150. Question 15, a resistor has a resistance of 10 ohm and a current of 2 flows through it. What is the power dissipated by the resistor? A, 40 W, B, 20 W, C, 10 W, D, 50 W. Correct answer, a 40 w explanation the power p dissipated by a resistor is given by the formula equals a zero to a tuxa firks for do question 16 an object is placed 15 centimeters in front of a concave mirror with a focal length of 10 centimeters where will the image form a 30 centimeters behind the mirror b 10 centimeters in front of the mirror c 6 centimeters in front of the mirror D 30 centimeters in front of the mirror. Correct answer. D 30 centimeters in front of the mirror. Explanation. Using the mirror equation. Question 17. What is the potential energy of an object with a mass of 5 kilograms raised to a height of 10 meters above the ground? Assume G 9.8 meters so 450 J. B 500 J. C 490 J. D 350 J correct answer C 490 J explanation the potential energy P is given by 
Question 18. Which of the following materials is considered a good conductor of electricity? A. Wood. B. Rubber. C. Copper. D. Glass. Correct answer. C. Copper. Explanation. Copper is a metal and is considered an excellent conductor of electricity due to the free movement of electrons within its atomic structure. Wood, rubber, and glass are insulators and do not conduct electricity efficiently. Question 19. In an ideal gas, which of the following variables is directly proportional to temperature? A. Pressure B. Volume C. Both pressure and volume D. None of the above. Correct answer. C. Both pressure and volume. Explanation. According to the ideal gas layer T at constant volume, pressure is directly proportional to temperature, and at constant pressure, volume is directly proportional to temperature. Hence, both pressure and volume are directly proportional to temperature. Question 20. If a car accelerates from rest to 20 meters in 5 seconds, what is the magnitude of its acceleration? A. 4 meters. B. 5 meters. C. 2 meters. D. 6 meters. Correct answer. A. 4 meters. Explanation. Acceleration. Is given by the formula. Question 21. A box is pushed with a force of 50 and over a distance of 10 meters. What is the work done on the box? A. 500J. B. 400J. C. 600J. D. 300J. Correct answer. A. 500J. Explanation. Work is calculated using the formula. WFXW 15 500. Question 22. If a current of 3 of flows through a 4 O resistor, what is the voltage across the resistor? A. 12 V. B. 15 V. C. 9 V. D. 24 V. Question 23. Which of the following quantities is a scalar? A. Velocity. B. Force. C. Speed. D. Acceleration. Correct answer. C. Speed. Explanation. A scalar quantity has only magnitude, while a vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. Speed is a scalar because it only describes how fast an object is moving without specifying direction, unlike velocity, force, and acceleration, which are vector quantities. Question 24. A car travels 100 kilometers east, then 75 kilometers north. What is a car's result in displacement? A. 125 kilometers. B. 175 kilometers. C. 50 kilometers. D. 75 kilometers. Correct answer. A. 125 kilometers. Explanation. The car's displacement can be found using the Pythagorean theorem since the path forms a right triangle. Question 25. Which law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred or transformed? A. Zeroth law. B. First law. C. Second law. D. Third law. Correct answer. B. First law. Explanation. The first law of thermodynamics is the law of conservation of energy, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transferred from one form to another or transformed into different types of energy. Question 26. A spring has a spring constant of 200 Nm and is compressed by 0.1 meters. What is the potential energy stored in the spring? A. 1J. B. 2J. C. 0.5J. D. 4J. Correct answer, A, 1J. Explanation, the potential energy P stored in a spring is given by the formula. Question 27, which of the following represents the SI unit of pressure? A, Joule. B, Watt. C, Pascal. D, Newton. Correct answer, C, Pascal. Explanation, the SI unit of pressure is the Pascal, Pa, which is defined as one Newton per square meter it is a derived unit, or 1 Eul's Y and M. Joule is the unit of energy, Watt is the unit of power, and Newton is the unit of force. Question 20. The half-life of a radioactive substance is 5 years. How much of a 100 gram sample will remain after 10 years? A. 50 grams. B. 25 grams. C. 10 grams. D. 5 grams. 
Correct answer, B, 25 grams. Explanation, after one half-life, five years, half of the original sample remains. After the second half-life, another five years, half of that remains. So, question 29, which of the following is a property of a sound wave? A, polarization. B, reflection. C, diffraction. D, refraction. Correct answer. C, diffraction. Explanation. Sound waves, being mechanical waves, exhibit diffraction, which is the bending of waves around obstacles or through openings. Polarization is a property of transverse waves, such as light waves. Sound waves can also reflect and refract, but diffraction is more characteristic of their ability to bend around objects. Question 30. The force required to accelerate a 10 kilograms object by 2 meters is A 5N, B 20N, C 15N, D 10N. Correct answer, B 20N. Explanation. Using Newton's second law of motion, the force F is given by F. F thanks, Winton. Question 31. Which of the following quantities is a vector? A. Distance. B. Speed. C. Velocity. D. Mass. Correct answer. C. Velocity. Explanation. Velocity is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction. Distance, speed, and mass are scalar quantities, as they only have magnitude. Question 32. What is the acceleration of a 5 kilograms object when a force of 25 N is applied to it? A. 1 meters. B. 2 meters. C. 5 meters. D. 10 meters. Correct answer. C. 5 meters. Explanation. Using Newton's second law of motion. Question 33. Which type of energy is associated with the motion of an object? A. Potential energy. B. Chemical energy. C. Kinetic energy. D. Nuclear energy. Correct answer. C. Kinetic energy. Explanation. Kinetic energy is the energy an object possesses due to its motion. Potential energy is stored energy. Chemical energy is stored in chemical bonds. And nuclear energy is stored in the nucleus of atoms. Question 34. Which of the following is an example of a non-renewable energy source? A. Solar power. B. Wind energy. C. Fossil fuels. D. Hydroelectric energy. Correct answer. C. Fossil fuels. Explanation. Fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas are non-renewable because they take millions of years to form and are consumed faster than they are replenished. Solar, wind, and hydroelectric energy are renewable energy sources. Question 35. The gravitational potential energy of an object depends on its A. Mass and velocity. B. Height and velocity. C. Mass and height. D. Speed and time. Correct answer. C. Mass and height. Explanation. Gravitational potential energy is given by PEM. Question 36. A light wave changes direction as it passes from air into water. What is this phenomenon called? A. Diffraction. B. Reflection. C. Refraction. D. Interference. Correct answer. C. Refraction. Explanation. Refraction is the bending of a wave as it passes from one medium to another due to a change in its speed. In this case, light bends as it enters water from air. Question 37. The resistance of a conductor depends on which of the following factors? A. Length and temperature. B. Voltage and current. C. Power and energy. D. Frequency and amplitude. Correct answer. A. Length and temperature. Explanation. The resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to its length and is affected by temperature. As the temperature increases, resistance generally increases. Question 38. Which of the following is a longitudinal wave? A. Light. B. Water. C. Sound. D. Radio. Correct answer. C. Sound. Explanation. Sound waves are longitudinal waves, where the particle displacement is parallel to the direction of wave propagation. Light and radio waves are electromagnetic transverse waves, and water waves are a combination of transverse and longitudinal motion.
Question 39. The SI unit of electric charge is the A volt, B coulomb, C joule, D ampere. Correct answer. B coulomb. Explanation. The SI unit of electric charge is the coulomb, C. One coulomb is the amount of charge transferred by a current of one ampere in one second. Question 40. Which of the following quantities remains conserved in an isolated system during a collision? A force. B momentum. C acceleration. D speed. Correct answer. B momentum. Explanation. In an isolated system, momentum is always conserved during a collision according to the law of conservation of momentum. Force, acceleration, and speed are not necessarily conserved. Question 41. Which of the following is the correct unit for frequency A. Newton. B. Hertz. C. Joule. D. Coulomb. Correct answer. B. Hertz. Explanation. Frequency is measured in Hertz HC, which represents the number of cycles per second. One Hertz is equal to one cycle per second. Question 42. Which law states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points? A. Coulomb's law. B. Ohm's law. C. Faraday's law. D. Newton's first law. Correct answer. B. Ohm's law. Explanation. Ohm's law states that V or where V is the voltage, I is the current, and R is the resistance. This law shows the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. Question 43. In a series circuit, the total resistance is A, the sum of the individual resistances, B, less than the smallest individual resistance, C, equal to the largest individual resistance, D, the reciprocal of the sum of the individual resistances. Correct answer. A, the sum of the individual resistances. Explanation. In a series circuit, the total resistance is the sum of all individual resistances. Question 44. The first law of thermodynamics is a statement of A, conservation of energy. B, conservation of momentum. C, conservation of mass. D, conservation of charge. Correct answer. A. Conservation of energy. Explanation. The first law of thermodynamics, also known as the law of energy conservation, states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred or transformed. Question 45. Which of the following materials is a good conductor of electricity? A. Rubber. B. Plastic. C. Copper. D. Wood. Correct answer. C. Copper. Explanation. Copper is a good conductor of electricity because it allows the free flow of electrons. Rubber, plastic, and wood are insulators and do not conduct electricity effectively. Question 46. The bending of light as it passes around an obstacle or through a narrow opening is called a reflection. B. Refraction. C. Diffraction. D. Polarization. Correct answer. C. Diffraction. Explanation. Diffraction occurs when light waves bend around the edges of an obstacle or pass through a narrow opening. This phenomenon is most noticeable when the wavelength is comparable to the size of the obstacle or opening. Question 47. Which of the following increases when the temperature of a gas increases at constant volume? A. Pressure. B. Volume. C. Mass. D. Density. Correct answer. A. Pressure. Explanation. According to Gay-Lussac's law, when the temperature of a gas increases at constant volume, the pressure of the gas increases. This is because the kinetic energy of the gas molecules increases, causing more frequent and forceful collisions with the walls of the container. Question 48. In a parallel circuit, the voltage across each branch is A. Different for each branch. B. Equal to the total voltage. C. Zero. D. Half the total voltage. Correct answer. B equal to the total voltage. Explanation. In a parallel circuit, the voltage across each branch is the same as the total voltage applied to the circuit, regardless of the individual resistances in each branch. Question 49. What is the wavelength of a wave with a frequency of 2 hc and a speed of 10 meters? A. 5 meters. B. 10 meters. C. 20 meters. 
D, two meters. Correct answer, A, five meters. Explanation. The wavelength L can be calculated using the wave equation. Question 50. What is the primary purpose of an electrical fuse in a circuit? A, to store electrical energy. B, to regulate current flow. C, to prevent excessive current. D, to increase voltage. Correct answer. C, to prevent excessive current. Explanation. A fuse is a safety device that protects electrical circuits from excessive current. It contains a thin wire that melts if the current exceeds a certain limit, breaking the circuit and stopping the flow of electricity, thereby preventing potential damage. Question 51. A satellite is orbiting the Earth in a circular orbit. If the satellite suddenly stops, what will happen to it? A. It will remain stationary in its orbit. B. It will fall directly towards the Earth. C. It will move away from the Earth. D. It will continue in a straight line tangent to the orbit. Correct answer. B. It will fall directly towards the Earth. Explanation. The satellite stays in orbit due to the balance between its forward motion and the gravitational pull of the Earth. If the satellite stops, there is no longer a forward motion to counterbalance the gravitational pull and it will fall directly towards the Earth under gravity. Question 52. In an LC circuit, a circuit with an inductor and a capacitor, the energy oscillates between A. Electric energy in the capacitor and kinetic energy in the inductor. B. Magnetic energy in the inductor and electric energy in the capacitor. C. Thermal energy and electric energy in the capacitor. D. Chemical energy in the capacitor and magnetic energy in the inductor. Correct answer. B. Magnetic energy in the inductor and electric energy in the capacitor. Explanation. In an LC circuit, energy is stored as electric energy in the capacitor when the capacitor is charged, and as magnetic energy in the inductor when the current is flowing. The energy oscillates between these two forms. Question 53. Which of the following phenomena demonstrates the wave nature of light? A. Photoelectric effect. B. Compton effect. C. Diffraction. D. Black body radiation. Correct answer. C. Diffraction. Explanation. Diffraction is a phenomenon where waves spread out as they pass through a slick or around an obstacle, which is a clear demonstration of the wave nature of light. The photoelectric effect and Compton effect show the particle nature of light. Question 54. If the pressure on a gas is doubled while keeping the temperature constant, what happens to its volume? A. Volume remains constant. B. Volume is doubled. C. Volume is halved. D. Volume comes zero. Correct answer. C. Volume is halved. Explanation. According to Bohr's law, the pressure of a gas is inversely proportional to its volume at constant temperature. If the pressure is doubled, the volume is reduced by half. Question 55. A lens has a focal length of 20 centimeters. What type of lens is it? A. Concave lens. B. Convex lens. C. Diverging lens. D. Plano concave lens. Correct answer. B. Convex lens. Explanation. A positive focal length indicates that the lens is convex converging. Convex lenses focus parallel rays of light to a point and their focal length is positive. Question 56. Which one of the following elements has the highest electronegativity? A. Fluorine. B. Oxygen. C. Chlorine. D. Nitrogen. Correct answer. A. Fluorine. Explanation. Fluorine has the highest electron negativity of all elements, meaning it has the strongest ability to attract electrons towards itself in a chemical bond. Question 57. What is the main principle behind the operation of a transformer A. Ohm's law? B. Coulomb's law. C. Mutual induction. D. Electrostatic force. Correct answer. C. Mutual induction. Explanation. A transformer operates based on the principle of mutual induction, where a change in the current in one coil induces a voltage in another coil through electromagnetic induction. Question 58. Which of the following is an example of a non-renewable energy source? A. Solar energy. B. Wind energy. C. Coal. D. Geothermal energy. Question 59. If an object is placed at the center of curvature of a concave mirror, where will the image form? A. At the focus. 
B at the center of curvature, C between the focus and the center of curvature, D behind the mirror. Correct answer, B at the center of curvature. Explanation. When an object is placed at the center of curvature of a concave mirror, the image forms at the center of curvature. The image is real, inverted, and of the same size as the object. Question 60. Which one of the following is not a fundamental force of nature? A. Gravitational force. B. Electromagnetic force. C. Nuclear force. D. Frictional force. Correct answer. D. Frictional force. Explanation. Frictional force is not considered a fundamental force of nature. The four fundamental forces are gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force. Frictional forces, a macroscopic force resulting from the interaction between surfaces. Question 61. Which of the following is an example of a non-renewable energy source? A. Solar energy. B. Wind energy. C. Coal. D. Geothermal energy. Correct answer. C. Coal. Explanation. Coal is a non-renewable energy source because it cannot be replenished on a human time scale. Renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and geothermal are replenished naturally. Question 62. The speed of sound is fastest in which of the following? Air. B. Water. C. Steel. D. Vacuum. Correct answer. C. Steel. Explanation. The speed of sound is fastest in solids like steel because the particles are more closely packed, allowing sound waves to travel more efficiently. Sound cannot travel in a vacuum because there are no particles to transmit the sound. Question 63. Which of the following is the unit of electric charge? A. Volt. B. Joule. C. Coulomb. D. Watt. Correct answer. C. Coulomb. Explanation. The Coulomb is the SI unit of electric charge. One Coulomb is equivalent to the charge of approximately 6.242 x 10 18 electrons. Question 64. What is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? A. Oxygen. B. Carbon dioxide. C. Nitrogen. D. Argon. Correct answer. C. Nitrogen. Explanation. Nitrogen makes up about 78% of the Earth's atmosphere, making it the most abundant gas. Oxygen comes next at around 21%, followed by argon and trace gases. Question 65. Which of the following is a type of chemical bond where electrons are shared between atoms? A. Ionic bond. B. Hydrogen bond. C. Covalent bond. D. Metallic bond. Correct answer. C. Covalent bond. Explanation. In a covalent bond, atoms share electrons to achieve a full outer shell. This type of bonding occurs primarily between nonmetal atoms. Question 66. What is the process by which plants convert sunlight into chemical energy? A. Respiration. B. Photosynthesis. C. Fermentation. D. Glycolysis. Correct answer. B. Photosynthesis. Explanation. Photosynthesis is the process where plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to produce glucose and oxygen. It occurs in the chloroplasts of plant cells. Question 67. Which of the following quantities is a scalar? A. Velocity. B. Force. C. Energy. D. Acceleration. Correct answer. C. Energy. Explanation. Energy is a scalar quantity because it has magnitude but no direction. Quantities like velocity, force, and acceleration are vectors, as they have both magnitude and direction. Question 68. In Newton's first law, also known as the law of inertia, an object will remain at rest or in uniform motion unless A. And that force acts on it. B. It has zero mass. C. It is in a vacuum. D. Gravity is absent. Correct answer. A. A net force acts on it. Explanation. Newton's first law states that an object will not change its state of motion, rest, or constant velocity unless a net force acts on it, causing acceleration. Question 69. Which of the following planets in the solar system has the highest surface temperature? A. Mercury. B. Venus. C. Mars. D. 
D, Jupiter. Correct answer, B, Venus. Explanation. Although Mercury is closer to the Sun, Venus has a higher surface temperature due to its thick atmosphere, which traps heat through the greenhouse effect. Question 70. Which particle in an atom has no electric charge? A. Proton. B. Electron. C. Neutron. D. Positron. Correct answer. C. Neutron. Explanation. The neutron is a subatomic particle found in the nucleus of an atom and has no electric charge. Protons have a positive charge, and electrons have a negative charge. Question 71. Which of the following processes is primarily responsible for the formation of clouds? A. Condensation. B. Evaporation. C. Sublimation. D. Precipitation. Correct answer. A. Condensation. Explanation. Clouds form when water vapor in the air cools and condenses into tiny water droplets or ice crystals. This process happens when warm moist air rises and cools. Question 72. What is the most common isotope of hydrogen, A. Deuterium, B. Tritium, C. Protium, D. Hydrogen 4? Correct answer. C. Protium. Explanation. Protium is the most common isotope of hydrogen, consisting of one proton and no neutrons. Deuterium has one neutron, and tritium has two neutrons. Question 73. Which of the following best describes an endothermic reaction? A. It releases heat. B. It absorbs heat. C. It occurs without heat. D. It involves light. Correct answer. B. It absorbs heat. Explanation. An endothermic reaction is one that absorbs heat from its surroundings. This is in contrast to an exothermic reaction, which releases heat. Question 74. Which law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transform? A. Zeroth law. B. First law. C. Second law. D. Third law. Correct answer. B. First law. Explanation. The first law of thermodynamics, also known as the law of energy conservation, states that the total energy of an isolated system is constant. Energy can be transformed from one form to another but cannot be created or destroyed. Correct answer. B. Destructors release resources allocated by the object. Explanation. Destructors in C are responsible for releasing resources, like memory or file handles, allocated during the object's lifetime. Option. Uh, is incorrect because destructors cannot be overloaded and there can only be one destructor per class. Option C is incorrect as there can only be one destructor, and option D is wrong because destructors do not have a return type. Question 76. Which of the following is an advantage of using linked lists over arrays in C? A. Linked lists provide O. 1. Access to elements by index. B. Linked lists allow dynamic memory allocation and flexible resizing. C. Linked lists are stored in contiguous memory locations. D. Linked lists require less memory than arrays. Correct answer. B. Linked lists allow dynamic memory allocation and flexible resizing. Explanation. Linked lists allocate memory dynamically, allowing flexible resizing during runtime. They do not require contiguous memory locations, and their size can grow or shrink as needed. Option A is incorrect because linked lists do not provide O. 1. Access to elements, which arrays do. Option C is incorrect, as linked lists are not stored contiguously. Option D is incorrect, because linked lists use extra memory for pointers, making them often less memory efficient than arrays. Question 77. Which geometrical construction method is used to bisect a line segment? A. Constructing two circles at the midpoint. B. Drawing arcs from both endpoints of the line. C. Constructing a tangent to the line. D. Drawing two perpendicular lines at the midpoint. Correct answer. B. Drawing arcs from both endpoints of the line. Explanation. To bisect a line, arcs of equal radius are drawn from each endpoint, and the intersection of these arcs defines the bisector of the line. Question 70. In solid geometry, how is a cone typically projected onto a vertical plane? A. As a square. B. As a triangle. C. As a circle. D. As a rectangle. Correct answer. B as a triangle. Explanation. 
when a cone is projected onto a vertical plane, the side view is represented as a triangle showing the height and base of the cone. Question 79. Which of the following best describes the development of surfaces? A. It involves creating a 3 view from Tois projections. B. It is the process of unfolding a 3 object into a Tois flat pattern. C. It shows hidden details of an object. D. It illustrates the intersection of solids. Correct answer. B. It is the process of unfolding a 3 object into a Tois flat pattern. Explanation. The development of surfaces is used to unfold a 3 object into a Tois plane, allowing the construction of the object from flat materials. Question 80. In an orthographic projection, how many views are typically required to fully represent a complex 3 object? A1, B2, C3, D4. Correct answer. C3. Explanation. In an orthographic projection, three views, top, front, and side, are typically required to fully represent a complex 3 object, providing a complete understanding of its shape and dimensions. Question 81. What is the molar mass of a substance that contains 0.5 moles and has a mass of 25 grams? A. 12.5 grams mol. B. 50 grams mol. C. 25 grams mol. D. 5 grams mol. Correct answer. B. 50 grams mol. Explanation. Molar mass is calculated using the formula. Question 82. Which gas law is described by the equanimity at constant temperature? A. Ball's law. B. Charles's law. C. Avogadro's law. D. Gay-Lussac's law. Correct answer. A. Ball's law. Explanation. Ball's law states that the pressure of a given amount of gas is inversely proportional to its volume when temperature is kept constant. NCE. Question 83. In a reaction, if the equilibrium constant Kc is greater than 1, what does this imply about the position of equilibrium? A. The reactants are favored. B. The products are favored. C. The reaction is at equilibrium. D. The equilibrium position cannot be determined. Correct answer. B. The products are favored. Explanation. When Kc1, it indicates that at equilibrium, the concentration of products is greater than that of reactants, meaning the reaction favors the formation of products. Question 84. What is the term for the energy required to remove an electron from an atom in the gaseous state? A. Electron negativity. B. Ionization energy. C. Electron affinity. D. Atomic radius. Correct answer. B. Ionization energy. Explanation. Ionization energy is the amount of energy needed to remove an electron from an atom in the gaseous state. It is a measure of the tendency of an atom to resist losing an electron. Question 85. What type of bond is formed between two nonmetal atoms sharing electrons? A. Ionic bond. B. Covalent bond. C. Metallic bond. D. Hydrogen bond. Correct answer. B. Covalent bond. Explanation. A covalent bond is formed when two nonmetal atoms share electrons to achieve a stable electronic configuration. Question 86. What is the primary use of the Nernst equation in electrochemistry? A. To calculate the pH of a solution. B. To determine the equilibrium constant. C. To find the cell potential under non-standard conditions. D. To balance redox reactions. Correct answer. C. To find the cell potential under non-standard conditions. Explanation. The Nernst equation is used to calculate the cell potential of an electrochemical cell under non-standard conditions by taking into account the concentrations of the reactants and products. Question 87. Which of the following is an example of a colligative property? A. Boiling point elevation. B. Density. C. Color. D. pH. Correct answer, a boiling point elevation. Explanation, colligative properties depend on the number of solute particles in a solution, such as boiling point elevation and freezing point depression, rather than the identity of the solute. Question 88, what is the name of the theory that describes the shapes of molecules based on minimizing electron pair repulsions? A, molecular orbital theory. 
B. VSE. PR theory. C. Valenspawn theory. D. Crystal field theory. Correct answer. B. VSE. PR theory. Explanation. The valence shell electron pair repulsion, V separ, theory explains the shapes of molecules by assuming that electron pairs around. A central atom will arrange themselves to minimize repulsions. Question 89. In the context of organic chemistry, what does the term resonance refer to? A. The ability of a molecule to absorb and emit light. B. The shifting of electron density between multiple structures. C. The rotation of a molecule around a bond. D. The reaction of a compound with an oxidizing agent. Correct answer. B. The shifting of electron density between multiple structures. Explanation. Resonance in organic chemistry refers to the concept where electron density is distributed over multiple possible structures, called resonance structures, which collectively represent the molecule. Question 90. What is the primary characteristic of a buffer solution? They it has a very high or very low pH. B. It can neutralize small amounts of acids or bases. C. It contains only strong acids or bases. D. It reacts vigorously with water. Correct answer. B. It can neutralize small amounts of acids or bases. Explanation. A buffer solution resists changes in pH when small amounts of acids or bases are added due to the presence of a weak acid and its conjugate base or a weak base and its conjugate acid.